This is Kim Cassis for IFL TV. I'm joined by Michael Buffer. Michael, uh, what we witnessed there was quite spectacular. Well, for Daniel Dubois, anyway. I, everybody at the end of that first round was like this. I mean, it was just like a gasp. Um, I think, I think maybe people were like looking beyond um, Triple D and thinking like what's next for AJ including maybe AJ and uh, you know you fall in love with a heavyweight they'll break your heart some sometimes and uh, man that that young 26 year old guy uh, the future's looking good he's a great counter puncher very impressive Michael it seemed like Joshua didn't recover from that first knockdown yeah. in the first round and then was kind of as the rounds went on was kind of playing catch up but also Dubois knew he could hurt Joshua yeah, it looked to me like he was trying to get his legs back, uh, you know, steady legs. You know, he, he, his movement wasn't, you know, he, you know, he's a fantastic athlete, and his movement was stiff and it wasn't fluid like it was for two and a half minutes in that first round. And um, then he later in the second or third round, one of the shots landed like above his ear in you know, the temple, where that's kind of like where Ruiz hurt him, and that's a disorienting type of feeling. And, um, yeah, I'm sort of gutted because, I mean, I love AJ and uh, all due respect to uh, Dubois, he's really uh, proved himself that, you know, he, he did everything he had to do to make sure this fight happened. He said, okay, I'm the champ, you can let me walk first, then introduce me first. You know, just sign the check and let me get in the ring and do my job. So he shows a lot of uh, skill, mentally, physically, you know, he's a clever guy. We know that Dubois was obviously elevated to... Um, world champion obviously after his last win against Hergovic. Um, I think he's now can legitimately call himself a world champion with a destructive win yeah, over totally. Anthony Joshua. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, he just had a victory over one of what we all consider to be one of the four or five best heavyweights in the world. And um, oh, heavyweights, man, they can punch and things happen quickly and it sure did. Can Joshua come back from this? Yeah, yeah he can. But I, I think a lot of these guys, when they become stars, fighting once a year doesn't do you any favors. I think, uh, you know, at least try to fight every six months. I mean, coming into this fight, AJ only had four fights in four years. And two of them he lost. So I, I think uh, keeping busy is yeah, a lot better than just keeping in shape. Michael Buffer, thank you very much to IFL TV. Safe. Thank you, my brother. And uh, safe travels back home, and no doubt we'll catch you again. I'll in, see you in, uh, in Riyadh. Definitely in Riyadh. All right. Undisputed fight again. Bivol and Baterbio. Cannot wait. Yeah, exciting. Thank you.